Hi everyone, I'm Mark Lichtenfeld. Welcome to State of the Market. You know how during the pandemic, everyone said they're going to learn a new language and get into shape and no one did? Speak for yourself. Well, same for me. I still can't speak Italian and I never ran that marathon, but I did make good use of that downtime. I studied for and passed the third and final exam that allowed me to become a Chartered Market Technician, or CMT. A CMT designation means you've mastered skills in technical analysis, which, if you don't know, is reading stock charts. Here, tell me how my stocks did yesterday. Uh, they all won. Hmm? What about my options? Well, you can either get up or go back to sleep. Now, some people would like to think that you can look at a stock chart and it acts like a crystal ball telling you exactly where the stock will go. That's not quite how it works. It's a crystal, nothing more. But if you turn it this way, look into it, it'll show you your dreams. Yes, sometimes even actors lie. For me, reading stock charts tells me two significant things. Number one, where my best reward opportunities lie in relation to risk. For example, this is a chart of Workiva. I drew a trend line from the lowest low to the highest low, and trend lines are common areas of support, meaning that stocks will often come down to the trend line and bounce off it as it moves higher. And you can see it did that back in April and then in August hit the trend line again. Now in a textbook example, the stock did in fact bounce off the trend line and rose about 20 points. Now here's the other very important aspect of technical analysis. It lets you know when there's been a big change in the psychology surrounding the stock. And if you entered a trade based on smart reward to risk parameters, your losses will be small while your gains will be large. So here's what I mean. Let's look at a chart of Darden, which operates Olive Garden and other restaurant chains. The stock steadily climbed up its trend line from April 2022 to August. And you would have made money if you bought Darden each time it came down to its trend line, except for that last time. You can see that in August of 2023, the stock broke the trend line. That would be a signal that something has changed. What happened to you, man? You used to be cool. I'm still cool. Nah, you've changed, man. Now, the charts won't tell you what has changed. It could be earnings. It could be economic data that shows a slowdown in consumer spending. The CEO could have done a perp walk. Someone might have gone overboard on the all-you-can-eat breadsticks and crimp Darden's margins. Anything. But all the charts show you is that the psychology of the market has shifted. Whereas the stock always rebounded off its trend line, it is no longer doing so, and that suggests it's time to head for the exits. Just stop! So, what happened next? Here's a hint from award-winning musical artist Kesha. The stock dropped about 10% in a month, and if you exited the trade in late August when the market told you that the psychology of this stock has changed and that the uptrend no longer held, you would have saved yourself a lot of money. Oh, like a lot of money. Trend lines work on the downside too. Let's say this summer you were interested in buying Verant Systems as the stock rebounded in July of this year. Now, if you looked at the chart, you'd see a pronounced downtrend. And at that point, you might say to yourself, let me wait to see if the psychology of this stock has changed and it can get through that downtrend. Alas, it did not. And you would have saved yourself a whooping by waiting to see if the trend line could be broken. Or if you're an active trader, you might have seen that return to the down trend line as an opportunity to go short or buy puts, knowing that if it broke the trend line to the upside, meaning the psychology has shifted on the stock, you'd get out quickly with a small loss. But if the psychology did not change and the stock resumed going lower, the opportunity was there for a big gain if you played the downside. Technical analysis can be as complicated as you want it to be, but I don't like complicated things. Not in my relationships and not in my trading. Period. Dot. If you understand that all technical analysis is, is the visual representation of human emotion in the market, you'll have a much clearer picture of what that chart means. And using simple tools like a trend line will help you determine better entry and exit points to minimize your risk and maximize your profit potential. I'm Mark Lichtenfeld. Grazie per aver guardato lo stato del mercato. That's Italian for thanks for watching State of the Market. And if you'd like to see how I use my new favorite technical analysis tool for picking stocks, click the link in the description.